God damn, that's a lot of dust on my hat. Probably clean that before I started the video. Maybe I could distract you guys from it. Nope, that dust gotta go. Hey guys, Casey Nolan here. I wanted to try to give you guys a little bit of advice as far as what I've learned so far with my YouTube experience. Now, I'm still new to YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But I also would like to teach you guys everything that I learned throughout my experience. So as I'm building my channel and as I'm making videos, I want to update you guys and tell you what I've done, what I've learned. Money. Everyone wants to know how much money you're making on YouTube. I can tell you this, I'm not making shit yet. No money, all right? There's a tiny little amount of money on my channel from the amount of views that I get, but you don't get anything from YouTube unless you make more than $100 in a month period. So if you don't reach $100 by the end of the month, they don't give you shit. It erases completely, you make nothing. The way that you make money is by having advertisements on your videos, Every time someone watches an advertisement, you get maybe a penny per click, per view, however it works. You gotta have a lot of views in order to make any kind of money on YouTube. So for anyone that's just starting and thinking you're gonna start your YouTube channel and you'll be making money or you think that I'm making money on these videos, you're wrong. I'm not making any money yet from these videos. Hopefully one day I will and if I do, I'll let you guys know and tell you how I did it. Second of all, you have got to realize this is a long process. I've been making these videos for over a year now and I'm just getting close to 500 subscribers. Now, part of the reason that I am getting close to 500 subscribers is because I have not stopped. The minute that you stop making videos, that's less people that are gonna see you, that's less video footage that you have for people to click if they check out your channel. You gotta constantly update your channel because when people see that you're updating your channel, they wanna follow you to see what you're gonna to do next. The minute you stop, they kind of lose interest. So you got to keep going. It's a snowball effect. You start slow, you get 10 subscribers, 20 subscribers, 50 subscribers, 100, and it just keeps going. But you have to keep going. That's the key behind it. You got to keep going. Third, you want people to watch your videos? You have to give the video a creative title. Now, I'm not saying to make clickbait to the point that people are clicking your video thinking they're going to watch one thing and they watch another. That's up. I would not recommend doing that. But if you have a video about this topic and you could give it a title that relates to this topic but it sounds interesting. For example, instead of saying uh, the Lazemix headphone review, maybe you're gonna say the headphones that blew my head off with bass. If they have a lot of bass, something like that. Because then someone's gonna see that title and be like, oh, what is that? I want to see. You have to make it interesting for people to want to check out the videos. I I am not up to a million subscribers. I am not a, well, I consider myself a professional YouTuber, but I'm not in the public's eyes big yet. So people might see this and think, oh, well, you know, you only have 500 subscribers. Why would I take your advice? You don't have to. But all I'm saying is, in order for me to get that 500, this is what I had to do. And I'm not gonna stop, so the channel is gonna continue growing. And when it reaches a large, large number, and you look back and I say, hey, I told you so, and I'll make more videos like this in the future, so you could see the progression, I'm doing this to help, you know? I'm doing this to help you guys, and so that you could learn from my mistakes and from my good decisions to make your channel better. Be different, that's a huge thing too. Be different, F with people, do your own thing. Here's an idea, have you ever sat around and thought to yourself, what if I did this? What if I did that? That would be so cool. And then the idea just fades, disappears in the wind, never comes into play. You have to act upon those ideas. When you have an idea and you say, man, it would be a cool idea, or it would be so cool if I made a video about this, or what if I interviewed this person, or what if I did this, or what if I sold my bike and did this and this and this, you gotta stick to the plan. If you come up with an idea and it sounds different and it sounds creative, and it's something that you would like to see, chances are other people would like to see it too. Do that sh that's definitely a major part in being a creator. You gotta do it differently. I like using my hands in my videos like this, all in your face. Somebody told me recently, hey, you use your hands too much. I don't care, I like using my hands. Somebody told me, hey, you shouldn't cuss in your videos because when you curse in your videos, you know, it might deter people. People want professionalism. Guess what? I am my own creator. This is my channel, my product. I don't give a f I have fun. It's part of who I am. It's part of my personality. I'm not going to be on here saying <laughs> this, that. I'm not going to do that, even though I just did. But you have to have the freedom to be yourself and give people who you are. That's what I'm doing every day. I hope this video helped you. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe. Until next time, my name is Casey Nolan. Peace.